political regime forced Merriam-Webster to add dumpster fire to the dictionary recently. But don't worry, during this year's midterm elections, black women are running in with dumpster fire extinguishers. This year, 2018, there's the largest number of women running um, for offices from, you know, school board up. There's also a record number of black women running um, for seats in Congress. Black women lead in their communities. They're really the backbone of black communities across the country. However, they are extremely underrepresented in elected office. On average, we're about 2.4% of elected leadership across the country. 2.4%? That's the most shocking number I've heard since I found out Chadwick Boseman is 40. <laughs> but good news, 569 black women are running for office in 2018. Sixty-eight qualified candidates plus Stacey Dash. <laughs> the catalyst for these black women running is less surprising than choosing Noah's Ark as the vacation Bible school theme again. Look at my African-American over here. The President of the United States is tired of so many black people coming to this country. Quote, why are we having all these people from shithole countries? Violence on many sides. On many sides. We have to resist Trump's racism every day. And the resistance training is giving our political engagement Angela Bassett arms. And 500 plus black women running for office is a great start. But there are over 7,000 elections this year. There's room for way more of us. So tonight, I'm giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to run for most offices so we can plug all the holes on this sinking Titanic of a country. <laughs> so run down with Robin Beattie, step-by-step -step guide to running for office for every black woman except Stacey Dash, yay! <laughs> Accurate. Step one, find out who has the position you want and if they're doing a good job. I was spurred to run after our congressman promised to vote against the health care repeal. He actually voted for the repeal bill. I questioned his integrity and knew I had to jump into the race. That's right. Policy isn't like the pitiful result of RuPaul's Drag Race. You don't have to just accept it. Hashtag justice for Shangela. <laughs> then comes step two. Check the requirements of your Board of Elections site. These sites are very helpful, even if the design is about as sophisticated as my 2002 Black Planet page. <laughs> Don't judge me. Aside from being a citizen, the only real requirements to run for most offices are being 18 years old and a resident. I mean, to run the New York City Marathon, you have to be 18 years old and mad fast. A campaign is way easier. 42 hours, that was a good time for me. <laughs> Step three, pick an agenda. This is just figuring out what's pissing you off. For me, it's like, why does no one talk about how Regina Hall's performance in Girls Trip was so good? She was the emotional heart of the movie and had to sell a show with her trifling cheat husband. There's nothing better than a tender sausage who knows who's in charge. Right, baby? She's the boss. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would run on, but you should probably choose something more substantial like Stacey Abrams did. We are running to create a new agenda that talks about criminal justice reform and economic mobility that looks at how we use the black woman's agenda to lift up all communities. Yes! America, use our agenda. If you have to appropriate something, make it this, not this. <laughs> Step four, remember, unlike breaking laws, if Trump can do it, so can you. He's lowered the bar. We tell potential candidates and anyone listening today, you are smarter than our president. You're a better listener than our president. You understand policy better than our president. You are more stylish than our president. You are less likely to threaten a Biden than the president. You are more brave in the face of stairs than the president. You can definitely be on the school board. Step five, get training. Yes, there are lots of details like petitions and fundraising, but this is not like when you saw Fifty Shades Freed. You don't have to do it alone. There are plenty of organizations that want to help you. Higher Heights wants to elect black women across this country. Vote, Run, Lead, an organization that trains women to run for office. They trained 10,000 women last year. Mm -hmm. We're going for 20,000 women this year, and over 70% of the people who were first-timers won. You know you can trust Maxine Shaw on two things, winning elections and showing up to Khadijah's apartment uninvited. <laughs> Which brings me to step number six, win. Black women ran and won in races across the country. We saw black women now in the U.S. Senate for the first time in 20 years. When women run, women win. See, 
You can win this thing. If you're an employee, a mom, or a city bus rider, you already multitask and you have the skills to run a campaign. <laughs> you got this. And I am talking to every black woman. You, 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 her, you. Okay, not her, but the rest of you. Every single black woman except for Stacey Dash. 